I froze. I actually froze on that bridge. And I was walking across. There we go. I thought I was going to die. While Gerard Ford's life was spared, his son's life was not. 23-year-old Brandon Ford, Siobhan Clark, 26, Brian Padmore, 27, and Karen Moore, 31, were liming at this corner when an SUV drove up to them. Five gunmen shot at the men, killing them before speeding off. The older Ford could not say why his son and his friends were targeted by the gunmen. I really didn't... I, I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why. <laughs> but... It's, it, it's sad because my son don't do anybody anything. All of the guys, all of them were innocent guys. The elder Ford, who was standing near the corner when the shooting began, said he was almost certain he would have also been killed given the caliber of weapons used in the attack. Because I kind of walk and run and hide behind this car here, which is his car. And I said to myself, I keep looking back and I said to myself, somebody's going to kill me. Relatives of Brian Padmore recall hearing the gunshots from their home. A relative told CNC3 he went to the scene that night where the sight of Padmore's body alongside his friends was simply too much to bear. I mean, I reached up there, show my eye, and I believe his body, you know, but when I see that boy lying on the ground, I, mean, I, I, I just, my oh outcry, you know. That I'm was sorry. it, you know. That was it when I see him lying on the ground. I cannot, I cannot hold up again. Head of Intelligence and Investigations, DCP Kurt Simon, offered condolences to the families of the murdered men. He asked the population to not lose hope in the TTPS as it continues to engage in different crime-fighting strategies and went on to call on the public to join forces with the authorities. But even with this reassurance, fears of reprisals are still a major concern for many Belmont residents. Shane Superville, CNC3 News.